we landed in Kauai. <laughs> <laughs> There's already so many chickens everywhere. I just ran over one. Um, we're gonna go drive around. We might go get some lunch. It's like two o'clock here, so um, probably gonna go get some lunch. Our check-in at our Airbnb is at four. So we're just gonna go explore and we're gonna take you with us. So we just checked into our Airbnb. Guys, it is so cute. I am gonna show you a little tour because it's quite literally the cutest little beachy boho Airbnb. And I'm looking at the ocean right now. It's, it's so cute. Okay, so you walk in and we're in the bedroom right now, but I just wanted to point out how cute these books are. I love beachy coffee table books like that. Um, so this is the bedroom super super cute james's stuff is already in the corner there um just really really sweet i i love it in here it's so calming and so peaceful the little bathroom area is here hello <laughs> so can we take a minute for these cute little shell beachy coconut accessories i love it i think this is my favorite room out here this is the living room and it's just so beachy so boho it just feels like a cute little beachy surf boho cabin. I am absolutely obsessed. The pray for surf sign over there is so cute. I now want one for my own house. It's just so cozy and so, so well done. Um, so I'm gonna flip around. This is a little kitchen area, which is honestly so perfect because I feel like if you're traveling and you want to eat some meals at home and you want to just you know do things from your airbnb instead of going out for breakfast lunch and dinner i feel like it's a really great hack to have a kitchen in your airbnb where you can actually cook from home um this is really sweet because they have a little welcome basket here which is just so cute um they have little chocolate covered macadamias they have granola bars, some Kai Bar coffee, a whole pineapple, and a little Polaroid camera, camera with some film. So James and I are gonna take some photos later. This is the little dining room area, which is just so cute. I love the surfboard on the wall. I am a huge fan of surfboards as accent pieces, so this just is just all around, so me. So out here is the little porch area. Oh my gosh, it's literally a sun shower right now. <gasps> James is out here watching the sun shower, looking over the ocean. Um, the ocean is literally right there. It's just so beautiful. It honestly is just so nice having a little area where you could actually be outside and sit outside, but be covered. So you're not getting any rain on you. <laughs> um, this is just so, so cute. We absolutely love it here. Also, the rain looks really pretty when it's coming down. You guys, it is so, <laughs> it is so absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous here. We are like just in awe. My mouth has just been like dropping the whole time. Our property that we're staying at is literally walking distance from a beautiful beach. And it's, it's just, gorgeous. it's absolutely stunning. Like I am like, just in awe. Really like not cold at all either. Yeah, James was swimming. Um, I was with all of our stuff and have all my jewelry on. So definitely gonna come back and Swim. Did you see? Did you, did, you, did you show the vlog? I'm gonna get a T-shirt. <laughs> so you can get free lemonade for life. So at least a few times on this trip, get some free lemonade, and then whenever I come back, I'll just wear my polka dot T-shirt. <laughs> Sucker <it> them. <laughs> oh, uh, our polka dog. Show them your shirt. <laughs> this is our dinner view. Cheers. 
All right, good morning, guys. It is Friday. Um, Six in the morning? Yeah, very, well, I, I was gonna say early, but we have been up, I've been up since 2.59 in yeah, the morning. It feels like which is 8 p.m., 8 p.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to us. Yeah. Which is three o'clock in the morning, which is like five o'clock in, I was gonna say Nashville, <laughs> California, which is when I get up. So my body just woke me up and I've been up ever since. Um, James slept in a little bit longer. It's vacation. Um, but so I have like gone the past few hours just up and not having coffee. So been really craving coffee and now we are waiting at this little coffee stand called Eden Coffee. Um, yeah, let's here look. It looks like it'll be good, but we have no idea. We are on the Awa Awa Pui <laughs> trail and we're about two miles into it. It's a six miles round trip. Yep, and we're gonna keep going. And it's getting a little hot, yeah. very muddy. Very Still muddy. Our shoes. Um, shoot. Our shoes right now. This is the shoe situation. So, mud everywhere. Not great. But, <laughs> totally expected that. Yep. Okay, so the hike was absolutely stunning. If you are in Kauai, you need to do that trail. <laughs> I will write down below how to properly spell it because it's something <laughs> like Awa, Awa, Awa Pui Awa, or something. Awa Pui. Something like that. But I will write it down so you so can, good. you need to go find it on all trails and you need to do it because it was quite literally the most amazing hike I think I've ever done. It turned out to be um, six, a little bit over six miles. Um, so it was definitely a workout. I was dying in the end. Um, getting there, it was all downhill. And then you had to go all the way back uphill to go back. So that was a little rough because we were pretty winded at that point. We um, were starving and <laughs> quite thirsty, but we made it and it was just so worth it. It was so amazing. Um, and then we just got some lunch. Um, I will- We stopped at the first place we saw. <laughs> yes, but James has been craving coconut shrimp. So we stopped at a coconut shrimp place. Um, I will put some little clips in now of what we got or where we stopped and then um, I got a little smoothie as well. So we just got coffee at um, Little, Fish. Little Fish Coffee, and Little then Fish coffee. now we're gonna go 
to we're gonna check out and then we're gonna get off city poles yes. and then probably go to the pool for a little bit yes but right now we're on the little lanai at the airbnb yeah and i put my coffee in a little mug because i still had some left and i wanted to warm it up and now we're just overlooking the beautiful ocean it's yeah. so beautiful here All right, we got some Aussie bowls. I got pitaya base, as always, it's my favorite. And James got a yummy looking acai bowl. Acai. My gosh, it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, so so we're just, now we're just eating it and then we're gonna go into the little pool area. Um, it's it really cool because the Airbnb has access to the pool and athletic club. Okay, so we just went to Shipwreck Beach um, for probably like 30 minutes and just kind of played by the rocks and swam a little bit. And now we are gonna go drive on to the other side of the island to um, go to our next beach stop. So we just got coffee. Now we're walking on like a mile trail to a beach, which I didn't realize was a trail. <laughs> yeah, it's weird when you pull up, there's like not really any parking marked. Um, but then we asked some people sitting if this is the way to the beach and they were like, yeah. But when you enter it says like, it's not really like marked. So yeah. we're just walking right now. I think it's like a- It's like a mile. Okay. A mile trail. Maybe not even. So we're at Hanalei Bay right now. Guys, this is the most stunning beach I've ever seen in my life. We are at, um, where is this place called? Cafe Turmeric. Cafe Turmeric. Turmeric? Turmeric? Oh my gosh. That naan looks oh. so good. Oh my goodness. My gosh, this is delicious. Really? I got the fish curry. And I got the coconut shrimp curry. Oh my gosh, so good. So this is our campsite. We are here. It's this is Anini so beach. beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's literally right on the water. Mm -hmm. And is our tent? we <laughs> pulled up and we noticed that none of the um, spots were like marked. There's no spots. It's kind of just like, I guess, first come first serve. And yeah. look at our spot. It's pretty empty, honestly. So if you're ever, if you ever need to camp, this is the spot because it's right on the beach and it's $3 a night per person. So, so pretty. Yeah, really good.
We are doing the Kalau Trail. Yes. And it's raining, and we didn't bring anything other than <laughs> no our shorts, <laughs> no raincoats. <laughs> there's a beautiful like, little beach over there. Probably can't see it. But there's a beautiful beach over there, and we're about to do the trail. All right, hello guys. So we just got some pokey, so good. Absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, our Airbnb hosts had a little like recommendation list and they put that on the list for recommendations. And they said um, it was the best pokey on the island. It was, it was really good. so good. We actually tried pokey two days ago um, and that was good. It was like, yeah. it was okay. It was, a little, um, it was a food truck and it was, it was okay. Yeah, but this one, um, what's it called? Hon Honolai Pokey? Honolai Pokey. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. Definitely pricey, it's like $20 a bowl, so. And the bowls are kind of small. But, yeah, like yeah. we were a little hungry still at the end, but um, it was amazing. Now we are at Honolai Bay, which mm -hmm. is so beautiful. It's been kind of on and off raining today. Um, which is normal for Hawaii, but. It's like kind of drizzling right now, actually. Yeah, but we are gonna try these little noms that I got <laughs> at the grocery store. Um, I don't even know what Lee Hang is. I really hope it's not. Yeah, this, it honestly doesn't look that good. <laughs> Let's see. I think they're made in Hawaii. Ew. <laughs> it if they took all the stuff off of it, it would be good. I know. It's mm -mm. bad. I don't like these. <laughs> so we're at this acai stand. And it has juices and stuff. And look at the view. Crazy. <laughs> Wait, which one did you try? I got the, the light, their lightest roast, I don't know. Is it good? It's pretty good, it is good. I drank it black. All right, what are we getting? Wow. Oh. And now you're in line for a cappuccino? Yes. On the way to the beach. Yeah. All right, so we are at the Kauai Coffee. Um, um, their plantation. Kauai Coffee have, Plantation. They have over four million coffee trees. Insane, and apparently, one tree produces one pound of coffee a year. So yeah, that's so, like basically one bag of coffee. That's insane. And like crazy. now I know why coffee beans are so expensive. Yeah. Um, it's just crazy. But yeah, so we're just walking the little grounds. We got a um, little coffee mug and, coffee. and some coffee. Yep. And we're gonna walk the grounds a little bit before we go to the beach. Mm -hmm. um, and then we don't really have too many like strict plans for the day. Our flight leaves at 10.45, so we have to get there around like 8.30 probably to return the car and everything. Yeah, so we have like probably five hours. Yeah, so yeah. this is where we're at right now. Alright, time, time has come. 
I'm so sad. We just got to near the airport, returning our car now. Um, our flight leaves at like 10.45. Um, yeah, we're so, here at like oh, eight or something like that, so. Yeah. Returning the car, returning the Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a good car. It's just like, I don't know, it's not really our thing, but that's fine. They decide to upgrade us. Um, but this trip has just been so fun. James and I have had so much fun and we have loved every bit of Kauai. Um, it's just been so much fun, such a blast. Um, yeah, it's been and impactful. I will link the Airbnb that we stayed at um, in the description box so you guys can check them out. We literally loved our time there so much. We kept saying like that whole area, the, the whole grounds of the plantation resort, the inside of that Airbnb was just so, so beautiful. Yeah. Um, it was the perfect little air, Airbnb. It was like, seriously. It was so perfect. We even right before we got to the airport, we even drove um, to the same beach area because we loved that beach so much, and we drove there to see the sunset one last time. So yeah. it was so fun, and so great. We will see you guys in our next vlog. Yep.